Patients at Walter Reed Army Medical Center demonstrated the world's first powered prosthesis and the first microprocessor foot. Jeannie Ryan had a chance to see how bionic technology lets warrior amputees live life to the fullest. Here's the first part of her three-part series, Soldiers, Sacrifice, and Second Chances. Steve, Walter Reed is the first facility in the United States to get the next generation in prosthetics technology. And for Major David Rosell, that means being able to test out the proprio foot. Wounded warriors pick the foot for the activity instead of letting the activity pick the foot. Amputees at Walter Reed Army Medical Center tested out the latest in prosthetic technology, the proprio foot, the power knee, and running feet. Until you suffer limb loss, you really don't realize how much you walk. Guys coming back from the Gulf War, for instance, that were amputees, get, had something totally different uh, than we have now. Major David Roselle lost his foot in Iraq four years ago when his Humvee ran over a landmine. After his first amputation, he crossed the finish line at the 2004 Army 10-miler. He chose to go back into the operating room last year to get a higher level of amputation, mainly for comfort. The added bonus for him, he can now take advantage of more prosthetic technology, like the proprio foot. The difference uh, in this foot and another foot is it actually has the artificial intelligence. Uh, which can perceive the ground and adjust itself. Some of the new limbs, like the running foot and high energy foot, give warrior amputees more mobility, especially for sports. But it takes countless hours of physical therapy for them to get accustomed to the different types of limbs they'll need to use for their everyday activities. Roselle says he tried up to 25 prostheses. Yeah, like I was wearing a ski boot all the time, you know, so. Uh, that's the way I describe it to people, because it's heavy and it's, it seems heavy, even though it's not too much more than your old uh, tissue and bone, uh, but it is, uh, it is awkward. And technology is making getting used to it a lot easier, so soldiers can go back to leading full lives. Now, just last month, Major Roselle completed a half Ironman, and it's only been six months since doctors re-amputated his foot. Next time on Army News Watch, we'll introduce you to Specialist Natasha McKinnon. The female wounded warrior is a below-the-knee amputee and is preparing to become a veterinarian when she leaves the Army.